Ukraine's Kyiv pride happens in absentia in Warsaw. On Saturday, Ukrainians celebrated Kyiv pride, but not as they normally would have. The ongoing invasion by Russia meant that pride could not be celebrated in the Ukrainian capital. So organizers partnered with Warsaw, Poland's annual equality parade. Kiev Pride's trucks were given the honor of leading Saturday's parade, one of many ways that Poland's people have stepped up to help their embattled Ukrainian neighbors. Warsaw is currently home to about a quarter of a million Ukrainians who have been displaced by the war. I think the representation of the international acceptance of LGBT is something that we should take note of. The LGBTQ community frequently we think of as South Florida or Florida or blue uh, or log cabin red, but uh, this is a demonstration that we really should look at our boundaries being international for LGBT. And how about a big hug and expression of love to Warsaw? Thank you for giving our LGBTQ plus people that hope that they so, so deserve and need during this time. Yes, thank you to Warsaw, and I look forward to next year when hopefully bombs won't be raining down on Ukraine anywhere, but especially the capital, and that their people will be allowed to march with pride. And also my gratitude to Poland, especially because they're not necessarily known for being particularly yeah, friendly. They have a great record. So they really stepped up, and mm -hmm. uh, we thank them for that. What an amazing example of community mm -hmm. and what that word stands mm -hmm. for. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.